Are you comfy? Good. Oh, first have to turn the light on. It's important to have good light so you can read and see the pictures. Now. Huh. This story is about Volcano Boy. Once upon a time, on a faraway planet just around the block, there lived a special boy. His name was Volcano Boy. He could fly to the moon and all the way back before lunch. Volcano Boy was very strong and brave. He wasn't even afraid to wrestle with wild woolly lions. He could jump higher than the tallest building in the space city where he lived. Volcano Boy was the best boy on his planet. Except when he got mad. Then strange things happened. He felt a great big power burst out of him and he would explode with anger. The explosion from Volcano Boy was so powerful, his whole planet shook. Mountains jumped off the ground and landed far away. The poor skiers didn't know where to ski. Houses turned upside down. Cows ended up on the roofs of the barns. At the space zoo, the elephant ended up in the monkey cage. What a mix-up! When Volcano Boy got angry, the eruption was so powerful, people's pants ended up on their heads and their hats were on their feet. Everyone on his planet whispered, enough already. Something has to be done about Volcano Boy and his bad temper. Volcano Boy heard these whispers and that made him even more angry. He felt a deep rumbling inside him. Oh no, what would happen? Everyone held on to their hats and then, in a flash, Lightning Woman came to the rescue. Volcano Boy, all these temper tantrums of yours are making a big mess out of our planet. Don't be sad. It is not wrong to get angry. It's normal. The important thing is to know what to do with all your anger power and how to let it all out, like a volcano. Lightning Woman gave him a magic potion to drink and a power snack and told him this special secret rule. When you feel you are going to burst with anger power, you have to stomp your feet five times, as hard and as loud as you can. Will you promise, Volcano Boy? Volcano Boy nodded silently. I promise. Thank you, Lightning Woman, he whispered. And in a flash, she was gone. The next day, someone wrecked Volcano Boy's extra special favorite bridge he was building between six ski mountains. All the people on his planet started to whisper, What's going to happen this time? Will he keep his promise? Volcano Boy felt the grumbly rumbling starting to grow. He felt like exploding. His best favorite special six bridges. And then he remembered his anger power promise. Volcano Boy stomped his feet as loud and as hard as he could. One, the mountains shook, but they stayed where they belonged. Two, the barn roofs rattled, but the cows got milked in time for supper. Three, people held on to their hats and shouted hooray. And they stomped their feet with Volcano Boy, just for the fun of it. Four, at the space zoo, the elephant quietly munched a peanut. Five big stomps was nothing to a big old elephant. No siree. And Volcano Boy? Well, at the end of five big loud stomps, he was finished being angry. In fact, he was hungry and needed a nice snack. More milk, please, Lightning Woman. I mean, Mommy. The end. Huh. Now that's a story I can really understand. Huh. Boy, Volcano Boy had even a worse temper than I do. Molly, I was wondering, do you ever get really mad? Oh, show me! Show me your worst tantrum! Whew! Well, la-dee-da! You're a real volcano girl! Yep. Well, you know what, Molly? If you were to ever explode like that again, for real, because you were angry or upset or something, I would pick you up, put you on my lap like this, and I'd hug you so tight, and you could be as angry as you wanted. And I'd just hold you there, 
and hug you until you felt all better. Yep, that's what I'd do. Mwah! <laughs>